Welcome to Idea Tutors Tutorials. In this video we will learn about hypothesis testing and steps involved in hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is based on hypothesis. Hypothesis is an assumption about an unknown population parameter. Hypothesis testing is a well-defined procedure which helps in deciding objectively whether to accept or reject the hypothesis, based on the information available from the sample. Hypothesis Testing Procedure Steps Involved in Hypothesis Testing Step 1. Set Null and Alternative Hypothesis the assumption which we want to test is called the null hypothesis. It is symbolized as H0. Null hypothesis is set with no difference and considered true, unless and until it is proved by the collected sample data. Example, H0, population mean equals 500. The null hypothesis is that the population mean is equal to 500. The alternative hypothesis, generally referred by H1 or HA is the logical opposite of the null hypothesis. H1, mu is not equal to 500. In other words, when null hypothesis is found to be true, the alternative hypothesis must be false, or vice versa. Rejection in null hypothesis indicates that the difference have statistical significance and acceptance in null hypothesis indicates that the difference are due to chance. Step 2. Set up a suitable significance. The level of significance, generally denoted by alpha is the probability, which is attached to a null hypothesis, which may be rejected even when it is true. The level of significance is also known as the size of rejection region or size of critical region. It is generally specified before any samples are drawn, so that results obtained will not influence the direction to be taken. Any level of significance can be adopted in practice we either take 5% or 1% level of significance. When we take 5% level of significance then there are about 5 chances out of 100 that we would reject the null hypothesis when it should be accepted, that is we are about 95% confident that we have made the right decision. When the null hypothesis is rejected at alpha equals 0.5, test result is said to be significant. When the null hypothesis is rejected at alpha equals 0.01, test result is said to be highly significant. Step 3. Determination of a suitable test statistic. Many of the test statistic that we shall encounter will have the following form. Test statistic equals sample statistic hypothesized population parameter divided by Standard Error of the Sample Statistic Step 4. Set the Decision Rule The next step for the researcher is to establish a critical region. Acceptance Region When null hypothesis is accepted. Rejection Region When null hypothesis is rejected. Step 5. Collect the sample data data is now collected appropriate sample statistic are computed step 6 analyze the data this involves selection of an appropriate probability distribution for a particular test for example when the sample is small and less than 30 the use of normal probability distribution z is not an accurate choice, t, distribution needs to be used in this case. Some commonly used testing procedures are z, t, f and chi-square. Step 7. Arrive at a statistical conclusion and business implication. Statistical conclusion is a decision to accept or reject a null hypothesis. 
This depends on whether the computed test statistic falls in acceptance region or rejection region. This table shows types of errors in hypothesis testing. Hope your doubts are clear, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Also please do like and share the video also hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Thank you.